I've been given the chance to interpret this picture. So why am I so fascinated by it? That's because there's so much melancholy in it. And you don't normally associate melancholy with spring. This picture is a very quiet picture. And the girl is a very quiet girl. According to popular belief, spring means driving death out. And in a certain sense, she has a look of death being carried out. There are also many death symbols in the picture. There are starlings, the dark violets, the landscape is cold. The grass that her feet rest in hasn't begun to grow yet. We are at the end of March or the beginning of April. What does this young girl express? First, I think one has to say, or at least that's how I see it, that it's an excellent picture of a young person in dawning puberty who is alien to herself, but also alien to the world she has appeared in. In a certain sense, it's a girl of the people who's sitting here. But she's also a girl of the people who has come to a world that she has to re-enchant, and which, in a certain sense, she feels a deep sadness about. She can't do enough for it. St. Paul's famous statement that God is no respecter of persons and there are no differences among people doesn't apply in our world. And the spring will set off a summer in which there will be differences among people and the winter will confirm them. So, in reality, she is playing a game that she has no desire to play. I think it's a very, very beautiful picture because it is an image of the Danish mind, but also because, in a very subtle way, it is an image of a social reality that you don't find at all in the other famous spring pictures that the history of Western art has to offer. <laughs>